The recent Witch Queen expansion brought weapon crafting to Destiny 2 for the first time, including the addition of enhanced perks that give extra benefits compared to the normal versions that we're used to. The question, though, is how much extra benefit these enhanced perks give. Unfortunately, there's been some very poor testing done out there, and some enhanced perks are borderline useless, leading to confusion about what, if anything, Enhanced Demolitionist does. It's time to answer that question definitively. Enhanced Demolitionist gives 10% more grenade energy for each kill. In other words, if you were getting 20% before, you get 22% now. Now this may sound minimal, but it's actually pretty damn strong and highly recommended. If that number was all you needed, then have a great day and please like and subscribe on your way out the door. But if you want to know what this number means in practice, along with how it was tested, then stay tuned for two more minutes of good info. I promise we'll move quickly. Regular Demolitionist gives you 10% for a primary kill and 20% for a special weapon kill. Enhance bumps this by one-tenth, meaning you get 11 and 22% respectively. Why is this worth it? Because what matters is time, not percentages, and getting your grenade even a few seconds sooner can mean the difference between life and death. If your overall cooldown is 2 minutes, for example, or 120 seconds, then Enhanced Demolitionist shaves 1.2 extra seconds off that cooldown for every single primary weapon kill you get, or 2.4 seconds for every special weapon kill. That is a meaningful difference, and since there's no cooldown on the perk, the benefits can add up very, very quickly. Now you may have seen some other analysis out there saying this perk is useless. How do we figure out that it's not? Let me explain. Grenade regen is a combination of passive and active regen. Passive regen comes from your discipline stat, and active comes from anything else that you do to get grenade energy. Now to isolate the effect of Demolitionist, we turned our discipline to tier 0 and made sure no perks or fragments were helping us out. We then swapped subclasses to remove all ability energy, shot 8 enemies with a primary weapon or 4 enemies with a special weapon, and then waited till our grenade was full. Then we crunched the numbers. For regular Demolitionist, this number of kills would give us 80% of our grenade back, meaning the rest of the region was 20% passive. To measure how much that 80% number changed with Enhanced Demolitionist, we just had to measure how much the 20% number went down while keeping the number of kills consistent. The answer? Passive region was responsible for 12% of our grenade coming back, no matter the class or grenade type, meaning 88% came from Enhanced Demolitionist versus 80% for the normal version, a 10% boost. Now this is definitely worth it, especially for PvE players and on weapons such as the Stasis Fusion Rifle from the Vow of the Disciple Raid. Alright, that is it for this video test. I hope you enjoyed it and or learned something useful. Please like and subscribe for more similar videos in the future.